to tell them yeah, this. Okay. So I, I was asking him lots of questions backstage. Um, and one of the things that I discovered, so my mother's always loved saris and she's always collected saris. And she's always say that, you know, uh, Bharat mein bahut anya prakar ki sariya banti hai. Har prant mein ek se zyada traditional, locally made saris milti hai. Your dream, your goal should be that you should own at least one from every state. Yes, you if should. If not more, because one state, lots of states have more more than one variety of sari. You'll end up with 300. Yeah, 300 at least. Yes, because the That's entire country, the entire country has got so much to offer. Yeah. You so we have this. over 300 uh, handwoven sari styles from across the country, and he also Santosh was telling me that he has collected 2,000 antique saris. And he is going to revive the motifs and those saris through his handicraftsmen, through his weavers. Once we are done with that, uh, there's one one request, you know. Um, as you wear kanjivarams or wear any any sari, you're not just wearing the sari. You're helping somebody out there you don't know, and you can't look prettier than this in anything. That yeah. that's my my take. You just can't look prettier. It's. She, she mentioned that I'm doing this all for viewers. I do make money as well in the whole process. So, you know, uh, let's not do that. But uh, there, is, there is that feeling, you know, I hope the viewers feel nice when she's, he will feel just absolutely brilliant. You know, he, he will sleep well. He would, want, he would want to weave throughout his life. He'll tell his child, please do this. You know, this is the best thing. Hat ka kaam. Not necessarily weaving handicrafts, hand looms, anything. You're going to do a great service that way. Thank you so much. Uh, the media, so awestruck before. They I genuinely, I have not seen them feel, this, this love that I'm seeing in their eyes, I've never seen before. I'm going to find it very difficult going back home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I have to get back to my work. <laughs> You'll get back and you will empower more viewers. Thank you, Hopefully. Santosh. Yeah, give us a peekaboo into your love sarees. I actually have um, three 200 year old, 200, over 200 uh, year old saris. Wow. Yeah, I've restored them. When can I come and see them? Yeah, anytime you want. Um, I have quite a few that I really cherish. But I think what makes them cherishable is the fact that you discover your identity through these saris. You know, we keep talking about Indian culture. But we don't realize that our handicraft is such an integral part of that culture because you can discover history, you can discover um, stories through the weaves and the motifs. Like there are so many descriptions of uh, folklore, of um, like this sari that I'm wearing is an ode to Karnatak music. So the instruments that have been woven on this sari are the mridangam, the veena, and the tablas. And uh, it's a story, you know, it's telling a story. And that's what's beautiful about saris. Each one of them has a story to tell. I, I, I'll be extremely honest in saying I don't have one favorite. I think India has an extraordinary amount of talent. There are so many people who are doing such fabulous work uh, that it would be unfair on my part to choose one. I really have a deep uh, admiration for many designers but especially for those who are using local handicraft, using local textile and, you know, making it accessible to the younger generation, taking it out there to younger people. Is there a craft or an art which is really close to you? I think the, any craft that, has, that involves the hands and the mind is something that appeals to me because I'm a creative person. And um, it's, it's fascinating that practically Every um, every expression has story in it, you know, whether it's music or it's handicraft or it's pottery. And uh, it, Santor said something very interesting. He said it takes you back to nature, it takes you closer to nature, and uh, which is why I think creative people are the happiest people. Yeah, what's yeah, what's up what's in Bollywood? Are you doing some Bollywood project now? Yeah. Yes, no but I'm not allowed to answer those questions yes. here. Yeah. What what do you want me to say? They are, it's it's extraordinary what they've achieved, and I'm very very proud of them. I've uh, I watched uh, their matches and I've applauded them on Twitter, and uh, like every other Indian, I'm very very proud. 
but I think these, these girls have a very strong message to give out to all those Indians who still believe girls are not good enough. Thank you so much. Thank you for being